All right, recording right about now. Right, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We are Peanut Gamers. This time with something rather special. We have this nice little thing going on this time around. Would you mind to explain exactly what it is, Mr. Smooth Lemon? Oh, yes, certainly. Well, we decided to do something more interactive. I'm in... Fuck! <laughs> well, it's okay. This time, this will not be edited. So, you know, you're gonna hear us fucking up every now and then. So it's Especially okay. me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as if. <laughs> Alright. That's cream, though. Um, okay, so we're playing old games and we're commentating on how the industry evolved. Yeah, that's yeah. what was that, nice. That's the idea. So, the idea is that we are going to play some rather old games and then... We are going to make basically comments about how the industry has evolved in the particular genre. Genre. Oh god, my wording. Um, in this particular genre or in general in gaming. So, this may be interesting for some, may not be interesting for others. Especially considering that the form we are doing is it kind of let's play-ish. And I'm, I'm not really the kind of person who would like to do a let's play. Because I'm certainly not entertaining enough. So instead, we will be doing this format, which will be mainly discussion uh, with live examples of what we are talking about. Now, uh, this is Diablo 2, if you haven't already noticed. We Yay are for Diablo actually, 2! We're actually playing this game that I never played before. This is the first time I get my hands on a Diablo he, game. He's a sinner, yeah, he said it. <laughs> I, I never really enjoyed that kind of game. I like... I, I like games with good combat, and Diablo never felt as if that was exactly what it was about. It was more about looting, and looting, not so much. Alright, uh, let's move on to the dungeon, and let's discuss some of the stuff that we, that we think about this game, and how it evolves, how it evolved more to the point, the industry and so on and so forth and the changes that it both brought and it appears that we have forgotten as an industry in 2013. Well, if you haven't already guessed, I'm playing as Sir Bless You, the Paladin and Law For Never plays the Sorcerer. All right, so or at least he tries to, not to <laughs> fail, that is. Yeah, well, no, I, I never... I have to admit, I, I'm not doing exceptionally good. But also, my character has some disco lights going on, so I can change the mood whenever I want, funky and not. <laughs> Alright, so, to begin with, the issues you have with the game, well, the issues, more to the point, the, some of the points that I have to make for it being an old game. So, if there is one thing I have to admit for new games and the way that we have um, progressed as a gaming industry in general is the UI. The UI, okay, this may be not so horrible, okay, like, it's functional, it's okay, it's fine, but when we get to something like this, this is just ugly. This doesn't look good in any way, and the best part is this. Oh god, yeah. Like, it, it's not horrible, like, I've seen worse UI well, in for, video for, games, but... For a game of, of uh, 1997, it's pretty good if you actually think about it. Well, still, the UI is not brilliant, and considering I'm, I wasn't completely familiar with how the, this thing was... I, like, I didn't also, know what the fuck that was. Like, also, this is, a this is a checkpoint. You can go back to base from here whenever you want. Okay, right. continue. So, uh, so, like, the game does not clearly explain the way you obtain the spells and how you have to change in between those. Yeah, there is enough information here, but, I, like, by mistake I understood there are more than five spells, because up to that point I was only upgrading my five spells because it's sort of the only thing I thought there was. I think my, my character is rather bad. Bows, yeah. yeah. Well, the Amazon is really one for bows. Also, you gotta kill the breeders or something like the ones that resurrect the other fellas. All right, the shaman. You'll have to smite them. Right. So another thing that you may see here is how the loot works. This is not particularly 
friendly to the player. Like, if, if something drops, the only way to understand it drop is obviously hear the sound, but you also have to press Alt to see exactly what has dropped. Well, that obviously is something that is done so that they can, can keep the UI clean, and that makes a lot of sense, like certainly. Like, you have to keep the, the, the gameplay screen clean so that the players are not confused, but at the same time, you also have to have a way to show the player that something has dropped, other than them realizing it. Those, those icons are really, really small, and you can very, very easily miss them. Um, now, and apparently we're evading a house like it's our business, well, which actually doesn't have any door, so it's basically letting us go in. Well, obviously. Okay, also this sound you hear in the background, I don't know what the fuck that is, it's, it's from the game. And yeah. Also, uh, attacking enemies, it's fiddly as hell as well, like, uh, I, I have to... Holy um, fuck, there are many Gargantuan. Oh, holy fuck, they did a lot of damage. Yeah, like, I have to kind of, like, wave at them in general. Like, holy clicking them and shooting with the bow is... It, it kind of works better now that I kind of got used to it, but it used to be a nightmare. Like, I could not shoot at them. There's a one that's lightning enchanted. The, yeah, the I know. Brief um, Gumble the Mauler. I'm trying to move away right now, if but it doesn't appear to... What you to do, so the game. Is... Okay, I apparently died. Oh, uh, right. I kind of forgot to. It's all of ninety-five gold. I have no gold. All right. So I'm still fighting. Get the warping and get you get over here. All right. I have no money. So how did I resurrect? Like. So you can resurrect because you don't have any money. I resurrected without having any money. That's the point. Yeah, I'm over here. Can you please press tab so you can see where I am? I I, I am pressing tab, but I'm. What the fuck? Oh damn! I was the blue thing. Oh fuck! Ah uh, fuck! What? Did I lose my items? What? Okay, I um I'm, I am confused. Did you lose your items? Well, your mates, you don't really need items, but hey, they should be on your old body over there. Oh, okay, I did not know that. Okay, as you can very clearly understand, I have no idea. Just throw some fireballs at him. I have no idea what the fuck's going on with this. Oh, I and would much rather stay away. Yeah, if I could stay away, I would, I would too. But I'm a paladin, and so much gotta do the dirty work. Take some healing potions. Yeah, like this is fiddly. <laughs> like I, I, I'm not saying it's this horrible. For you. It's just it's kind of fiddly, and quite frankly, like I knew obviously back then. Then you you really had this really low resolutions, and you could only like do so much with them. But still, this is like not the best I've ever seen. And like if you look at games like Homeworld, which was old and had some horrid UI issues, that to this very day like. Are present. Why did you take those? I needed them more than you did. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, so dead rogue. Oh, that's not something I can take. Come on. Um, you. Other than that, like, okay, I talked about the UI. I talked about how clunky the game is. Like, this is obvious because it's an old game. You may say, well, yeah, kinda. So to the game, we go, shall we? So. Uh, Lemon, it's your time to make a comment on how the game introduces itself and so on and so forth. Oh well, as you know, the game has some classes and has some old smashy smashy um, controls which are very actually clunky, but for Jades I think it's very, very good. Actually, it's one of the games that m made my youth better. Um, not to mention that it also has that local multiplayer as we're playing now that made my youth with friends very very enjoyable indeed. Well, what else is there to say? You no longer fear fire. Well, I never feared anyway. Um, apparently this game is on what? 800 to 60? Let me check. 800 and 600 P. Which is not very much. Oh, oh, damn! Can you I just shoot him fi some fireballs or something? 
I'm doing just that, but I'm also trying not to get murdered. Yeah, um... Uh, uh, on how much the industry has progressed, oh well, there's nothing much to say. It's a classic RPG, there's nothing too much to change, so... The basic stuff are all here, and of the games on to be. So, yeah, that's one thing, is there, there is there something to say, but... Hey, I think you should take this. I should take what exactly? This chest, this thorn chest. It's made out of thorns, I don't know how, you, how it works, but... Overburdened. Mm -hmm. uh, side of thorns. Can you please stop gathering up trash? I... Why? I also leveled up. Um... The level up system is quite easy to understand. There's four buttons, you press one of them, something upgrades, etc, etc. Oh, okay. You so, this is an issue I have. How the fuck do I equip this? Um, you double click it, or you go to, to the slot. Yeah, I'm doing this, but it's apparently not working. With a cap? The sash. Yeah, I, because it's I not a, identified, it cannot be repaired. Alright, I got it, I got it. Okay, I was being a moron. Okay, it doesn't tell you another like problem with the light. It doesn't tell you when something is equipped or not. Um, can I change this to my normal attacks and then somehow... No? No? Okay, so... Uh, okay, so another indication that this is an old game. Very little tutorial. Like, yeah, I got I into this... Know. And I got into this and was just like, throw into the village, some random guy with a uh, exclamation mark above his head and like, well let's talk to him, some generic shit, go find that person and talk to him. It's like, um... Yeah, there are like five person in the village, but that's not the problem, the problem is that you don't know how to do anything. Yeah, like, uh, I was like, um, okay, and whenever I clicked, my, my character would say, not in the town, I was like, what not in the town? What am I doing wrong here? I do not understand. So this could be considered good because the game is certainly not wasting your time. <laughs> like you yeah, have it's to right. get it throwing you in the game, right? And in, in the middle. No, wait. Well, we need to kill everyone at this level, then we'll continue forth. forth. We shall venture forth. We shall. We shall indeed. All right, and the that is actually quite pleasant in its own way, in its own confusing little way. And I don't know if Diablo, I never thought Diablo was like considered one of the most hardcore games because, you know, there were like multiple difficulty modes as far as I'm concerned and so just throwing you in like that just to me it just kind of felt a little clunky and other than just feeling clunky though, new players would just be kind of lost if they didn't already know what this was about and this comes down to the fact that Nowadays, there are no manuals, while well, they well, used indeed. to be. Like, we, we have forgotten the idea of what a manual is now. Like, and like, at the time, you could just read the manual and, like, get some information about what was happening, while now you have to have a tutorial and so forth to fully indulge the game. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not- I'm obviously not doing particularly good with the bow, as far as I can tell from the Yeah, control. you're not proficient with it enough. I'm apparently hitting air, so you're not the only one not doing- not doing very well. And, okay, this is why I never played Diablo, I never liked this kind of game. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, like, this is not my thing. Well, you get to pick the next game. Well, I will get to pick the next game indeed, but us, like, right now that we are kind of here, we have to kind of, like, talk a bit more about this. Uh, uh this... I am this, overburdened. That fuck off. You saw it as well. Alright, so, as I was saying, the game just certainly throw you in and doesn't really explain a whole lot. And that, like I said, could be positive, could be negative, but just generally speaking, I can't carry it, it's also a thing with the how the manuals used to work and exactly what they did um, to how much the developers had to put a tutorial in because you know like 
if you read the manual, you, you'd see, you obviously see, like, hey, click right to move, click left to um, not move and do something else, and press those buttons to do that, and so on and so forth. And I certainly find that intriguing as an idea, like, do we really miss the idea of what we used to have with... Uh, I can't Aris. carry anymore. Oh, for fuck's sake. What we used to have with our tutorials and the difference between them and under teleportation. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, if you hit him enough, he teleport somewhere else. But apparently, he didn't manage to do it. Because I'm spamming fireball. Yay for skill. I am overburdened. There's a scepter. Stop trying to grab everything. I can't carry anymore. No, I don't need this. Right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, and just like I was saying, the inventory management is odd, to say the least. But not bad, just kind of odd. Defense 2, defense 2, I'm going to wear these. Brilliant. Gorgeous. Brilliant. Damage short stuff. Right? Gorgeous. Unidentified. Scroll of identification, like... Yeah, all this kind of stuff, like, I, how would I know that I need a scroll of identification to identify items and not there is some vendor that does it, like, it sounds pretty self-explanatory, but, you know, like, many games don't work that way, like, for example, a, a scroll of identification could be, like, the most rare item in the game and you could only, like, you only had to use it to get, like, say, oh, fuck off. To get like a legendary item and yet you use it in level one item and so on and so forth. It's just those little quirks that were in there in those kinds of games. Now I don't as of now I have nothing to discuss in how the industry has progressed. In the sense that we don't have all that many dungeon crawlers anymore. Yeah. And the reasons for that I think are like, like this there are plenty of reasons. Uh, to me, personally, who doesn't care about this genre, I don't, like, Jesus Christ, I, I couldn't care less, I'll be completely honest, like, couldn't care less that there are not all that many dungeon crawlers like this, but to people that like the genre, like, why did those games disappear all of a sudden? Disappear, why did they stop being so popular as it used to be? Well, like, my opinion on this is... That people turned most to fast-paced games like shooters. Or Why did we go back to Cave Level One? What? Cave Level One. You went back to Cave Level One. Yeah, because we're finished with Cave Level Two. No, we're not. Did you look at the map? Yeah. Get a look, yeah. motherfucker. Take a look at the map. I am overburdened. Where is there to go? Here. Can't you see? This is a secret passage. Come on. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, mate. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I think people turn to fast-paced games, like I said. So, because... is this fast-paced in its own right? Like, it's not, I mean... It's not a tactical game. It's one of the fastest RPGs there are out there, but still, it's an RPG. It has slow development process. Yeah, and it also has lots and lots of hours of content. <laughs> I, where did the idea of having 12 and 13 hours of content go? I never quite understood this. Like, why did people say, hmm, we need less game? That's a good idea. Like, I need less value for my money and less subjective. Well, subjective. less game means less developing, less money, more no, no, money. No. Like, no, I'm not talking about the developers, I'm talking about the consumers here. Um, I, I need yeah. less content for my video games. Like I don't want money. to play that much anymore. And, but, but, do you really? Like, that's, it, it, I don't find any sense into that. Like, you may say, yeah, but you have more quality content. Do you? Does Not Call of really. Duty count as quality content? Does Years of War or... Medal of Honor count as quality content? I, I do not count it as quality content. I got bored of these games. Like, this is repetitive. I'll be honest. Like, this is yeah, repetitive, it is. but it's repetitive in a way that it also has like some progression into it. It's it's repetitive because this is 
the main mechanic of the game. You you have to progress, and to progress, you you kind of have to find a way to do so. And doing so is mainly done via killing the same enemies over and over, which is also the enjoyment to be had from these games because. Killing the same enemies over and over also drops items, and loot is a really bad, big part of these games, but... Is it...? Yeah, I, I, I um, In fact, I really, I have... I got a... A blue... No, it's not blue, it's yellow item, which is very rare. And it's actually named... Havoc's Cure. It's supposed to skew your opponent. I can't carry anymore. So... Very fast attack speed. Yeah, t take a look at this. Where are you? I I'm here, I'm fighting with the summon Did you get the thunder ability? No, I didn't. As you can very clearly see, I'm using fire. And ice. I am overburdened. What the fuck is an amulet? You wear it. No shit. I can't use I got the crown to oh holy fuck a champion enemy help hang on bitch oh whoa 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 what, uh, uh, that's that looks dangerous because it's blue yeah blue enemies are very scary smurfs are too holy fuck they deal a lot of damage are they they silenced me what the fuck? holy fuck I cannot move oh well, fuck if you can but at a very slow pace Oh, what the fuck is this? The freedom to go home. No! I don't wanna go home. We've only just begun. Okay. Ah! Jesus! Okay! Jesus! Just, along with the frustration of these games. Uh, okay. Four! Jesus! I need to thank it for the team! No! You're not dead, are you? Alright, so, as we were saying... As we are trying to say, yeah, while before, getting killed... Yeah, while getting murdered... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can really not concentrate all that much with overburdened. all the stuff going on around me. <laughs> oh, there's uh, a green cap, I think, I'll bet you want it. Uh, okay, I want it. Um, I'm gonna get it. Somehow. Okay, um, let's shut up. And I'm gonna test this out. Sh shut up. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm I've got too many this. potions. I've got too many potions. You need some? Uh, not as of now, but maybe in the near future. Cap. Where's the cap? Alright. Um, so, while getting murdered, and we. Got what? What the fuck? Did you use the portal? Oh. Okay, like it was like clunkiness, like about clunkiness, I did not want to press that in any way, shape or form. But apparently the game thought I did. The game knows best. And the game knows best indeed. And I'm pretty sure people are gonna be like, well you're horrible at this, so why are you even bothering to comment on it? Well, yeah, sure, I'm horrible at it, but what I'm doing is making a comment on how this game is kind of a predecessor to what we have today, and the way that this kind of game did not, in fact, um, uh, evolve through the years. Well, I used to play a lot of dungeon crawlers, but I've never seen something like Diablo 2. I never remember having such a great reaction to it the first time I played Dungeon Claw. Crawler. Dungeon Crawler. Mm. Not Chlor. Chlorine. No. <laughs> Chlor Dungeon Chlorine. Yeah, apparently that's what we'll need to clean this mess up. Ah, uh, well, I'm rather. Some not. Dungeon Chlorine. <laughs> oh, yeah. That Can sounds intriguing. Come on, die. Did you see the rock? It was blocking the hits. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, also, this is a thing, like, thank the gods we progressed through those graphics because... Ow. Like, I was shooting at him, it was like, this rock... Like, if you look at it, it's like, yeah, it's obvious it was this rock, why were you shooting at him? But, I was only looking at me and the thing, and I realized, like, I can shoot through here, but apparently not here. 
Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, you know. You know how that goes. Depth perception. Uh, I'm daft perception, anyway. Uh, so, is, that's, that's a confusing. I think point. we're done with the cave. I think we're done with the cave as well. Okay, so this is um, Finger Crab Simulator 20, 1990 something. Uh, no way we can move this way. Okay, there's something this way. Okay. Finger Crab Simulator. Yeah, like so many clicks. I'm pretty sure anyone will be infuriated. Um, way. if you press and hold the click, then it's the same thing. I know, I'm doing this, but still, when attacking, you kind of have to press. No, you maybe. still can hold it. Yeah, but then you move, and you have no problem moving because, um, you know, you're... If you press control, uh, shift, you don't move. Really? Oh, fuck. But that didn't explain it. Okay, maybe... Okay, okay. Probably should have asked about this. Like I said, the game does not really explain itself all that well. Obviously because I don't have the manual, and obviously, well, you know, because they... Did it come with a manual? I think so, yeah. Are you kidding me? All of those games did. Yeah. Ah, uh, hello. I remember with the case that wrote PC game, and now there's only Xbox and 360 and PS3 games on my library. Yeah. Uh, I'll be completely honest, like, retail games, I use. I used to buy really few of them. And like this comes back to the Did discussion. You? Uh, retail, yeah. I, I unless it was for Xbox, I always used to buy my games like I can't care. in a digital state. I, I barely ever bought. Even even back then, when the very moment I knew I could do this, yeah. Oh, I was like. Because I always thought that digital states are, in a way, safer than the physical counterparts are. Because, you know, even if you lose a digital copy, there's actually no way to lose it as long as you remember what your account is. And, you know, I, I have a good memory as a person, so I... Oh! Really had an issue with that. Uh, could you show them the skill stream? I did. Uh, did you? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I did. I cannot show them here. Okay. Did you level up? I leveled up before. Okay. So, yeah. I, fair enough. Like, obviously, if I was to comment on it or as a game, obviously, like, I, I would say that it's not my kind of game, mainly because, you know, I'm not into really repetitive games, but at the same time, as a game, it obviously has a lot of charm to it because, you know, the like the spells are all of them intriguing and interesting in their own right, and obviously they're really unique, and you never feel as if you're doing the same thing when you're doing, you're doing a spell, even with like the smaller rate of spells I currently have right now, which is like only three spells. Uh, they all have their own little unique advantages and disadvantages, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. And, like, Sorcerer, I don't know how much of an interesting class Sorcerer is it, but I think I'm gonna die here. Oh no. I, I aggroed a hell of a lot of this. And, uh, much rather. Just and, like, yeah, I told you, I grew a hell of a lot of these guys. Immune to fire? Oh well. Oh, oh damn, that, that's glad. <laughs> that, that is amusing. Oh, indeed. Well, you should see if you are very high level up and you go to these mobs and you just click and they all explode. And like, <laughs> yeah, yeah! Fair enough. So... And don't tell me yeah. this is not fun, exploding imps since 1990. <laughs> 1997. Well, imps have always been, have always been in my memory with dungeon <laughs> crawler. With the explosion. <laughs> so. I am overburdened. I am overburdened, am I? Yes, it, it appears I am. Defense free. Defense free. All right. I can't carry anymore. Oh, shut up. I have a kajillion amount of potions. Me too. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. <laughs> um. All right. So I, I think this. I think it's we should use this, go back, sell the stuff, and I then get back. Oh, 
Uh, blah, blah. Okay, I'll also leave my money here. Fine. Uh, what, what was the button again? I, I, um, come button on. Button for what? Pause it. I'm sorry, nothing. Holy uh, fuck, I'm getting a thousand golds for a plus one mana amulet. Fuck yeah. Fair enough. Uh, defense six. This is defense. Okay, how do I identify? Uh, we need scrolls of identification, of course, of course. But of course, but of there's, course. There's an old wizard thingy that sells Akara. Yeah, that's your name. I have so many potions. This is getting ridiculous. Why can I not stack potions within them? Like this, infuriating. Um. Can I just sell my potions as it stands? It's just yeah, uh, you get some 37, 16, something like that. But. Okay, maybe there's like people here, they're saying that, hey, what you're doing is stupid and you shouldn't do it. Well, I have no idea what the game is all about, so fuck you. I'm gonna be completely honest, this is all I have to say to you. Fuck you. So, uh, I think we have nothing else to say interesting without padding this video out. It's already kind of padded up by now, <laughs> but yeah. I think I will have to edit some of this, right? Maybe some of the... I, I cannot edit it like I usually do with the sound files, because obviously, you know, like, I have to edit a lot of a lot of the um and uhs we say within the time which we speak, and that would basically mean that it would look awkward as a video game, because, you know, every two seconds cutting out is kind of stupid. Right, other than that, I don't think there's anything else to say. So, as we were saying, to, to conclude, to actually, like, Not here. Uh, because we kind of talked about a lot of nonsense throughout, and to conclude, um, my personal opinion as someone who never played this game, yet I did play a lot of other games, and I've played recent games, but not this kind, obviously it has a lot of the quirks that those games had, which means bad UI, so on and so forth. Um, the industry evolved in a way that appears to be strange in the sense that this game had like lots and lots of content while newer games appear to not have all that much now like i said quality content not a thing but uh is it really a place for this kind of game obviously since diablo 3 was made and i think they will be made like there will be a diablo 4 considering will it? they Ah, come on, they love, they love to just do that thing over and over again, like, Diablo is dead, no he's not, Diablo is dead, no he's not. Well, Half-Life 3 is dead, yeah it is. Oh no, it's not, like, <laughs> I, I talked to Gaben and he told me he knew something about it, I did, <laughs> really, I swear, I'm not lying, I'm not being sarcastic I swear, or snarky, it. I'm not being sarcastic or snarky, I'll be honest. I know that like Half-Life 3 is coming. It is coming. Well. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think that's that. That's enough of that. That's enough of us for you. Um, thank you very much for watching. And do you comment on how you would think that this series would be better? Maybe with the script. We usually we do things with the script. Right now we only did things exactly what out we of thought our minds. of the game. Uh, yeah, out of our minds. Like on the spot, we thought exactly what we had to say. Um, obviously, like that is including what I thought of it in the twenty minutes we we played before recording. But yeah, it's like I honestly cannot commentate as much as I can other games that I play more of. Like. If we say did it Thief or Doom or something along those lines, which we'll, we'll do in the future, I would be able to say, hey, you know, like, those things and those things were different and those things are different now and so on and so forth. But this kind of game, I have very little idea what's wrong now and what is not wrong and what was better then, what, was, what is better now and so on and so forth. So my commentary is threadbare, I'll be honest. Yeah, that, that, that's all for me. Yeah, I think there's not much to say. I think you covered up everything. I think this interactive video covered most of it. And if it didn't, well, sucks to be us. So, you know, you know how it works. Leave a like, comment, so on and so forth. We'd love to get new content. Also, the Witcher reviews are on the works, I promise. I just... 
I, I'm trying to make them work, but every time I have to record over two hours of me talking and fucking up and talking again and fucking up again. And also, I, did, you, did you say that your saves deleted for some apparent reason? Oh, my Witcher 3 saves? Yeah, all of them. I lost all of my progress and I was slightly disappointed. So, you know, I will not get to show you my fully upgraded Geralt. Geralt, but, well, this is not the point of this video, is it? Okay, so, The Witcher 3, The Witcher reviews are coming, I swear, I promise. If they're not in by the end of this week, they will be by the end of the next week. Or the end of the other week. Anyway, so, I'll be off with my life, and you should be off with yours. Thank you guys for watching, and this we will be seeing you. This has been Spina Gamers. Signing out.